Now, couple that with what just happened in England. A Muslim sets off a bomb on a train, and they wring their hands. They don't know what to do. The old ninny there, Theresa May, instead of attacking, the attacker attacks Donald Trump because he dared say that they're not tough enough on the Islamo-fascists amongst them. I want you to listen to the psychosis that is called liberalism. Here is a psycho in, 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 in London who spends more time attacking Trump than the enemy within her own country in 04. I never think it's helpful for anybody to speculate on what is an ongoing investigation. Speculate. As I've just said, the police and security services are working to discover the full circumstances of this oh cowardly attack and to identify who is responsible. I really want to say a few things that I, I have to hold back because what you're watching here is the entire West committing suicide. You're watching the suicide of the West. Not as Spengler predicted, the death of the West in its uh, demise, in the demise of the West being a result of the rise of Asia, which is what Spengler predicted. But a suicide, a mass suicide of the West. The British people, the French people had an opportunity to stop this. And they rejected it. They said, we'd rather die. We'd rather continue to dance naked around the fire. We'd rather see our whole nation go up in fire than give in to those nationalists. I don't know how much farther we are from them here in the United States of America. But when I see psychos, as I see every day, attacking Trump instead of attacking Kim Jong mentally ill one, I would say that we're not too far behind. When I see psychopaths in America, the American left, saying, yes, we need more immigrants. We want open borders. All are welcome. Refugees welcome. We don't want to vet anyone. Let everyone come into our country. That's mass suicide, do you understand? It's a combination of mass hysteria with mass suicide. And in the middle of it all, we have the hurricanes to deal with, one after the other in Florida, Texas. And then you have the strange situation of the Hollywood idiots like Robert De Niro. Trump comes out on the London attack where another Muslim set off yet another bomb with ISIS taking credit for it and gloating about another, another attack of this nature. And instead of attacking the Islamo-fascists amongst herself, amongst her people, this ninny over there in England, Theresa May, attacks President Trump. This is an example of a suicidal nation over there. I don't have an answer for the question. All I know is that I know the questions and I know the answers. But I don't have an answer to this question. It's very hard to stop people who want to commit suicide. If they want to jump off a bridge, generally they will jump off a bridge. And if half the nation wants to jump off a bridge, it's very hard to stop them from taking the rest of the nation down. How many different attacks by Islamo-fascists have to occur until you finally have to awaken to the fact that uh, there is a certain segment of the earth that's been at war with the rest of the world for a very long time. Long before we invaded Iraq, long before we were in the Middle East, the Islamo-fascists were killing, maiming, burning, cutting heads off in order to convert everyone around them to Islam. If you don't know history, I can't help you. If you're a moron who went to NYU and had your brains washed in a washing machine, and you think it's our fault that the Islamo-fascists are attacking around the world, then you are one of those suicidal people. Those who do not know the history are condemned to repeat it, and boy, are we repeating it. We are repeating it on a daily basis. Bombs go off, heads are cut off, trucks are driven into people, and everyone says, lone wolf, deranged, nothing to do with the religion, lunatics, all wrong, absolutely all wrong. ISIS claim responsibility for the London attack. Now, let's just look at the acronym ISIS. ISIS, Islamic State. It didn't say BISIS. It's not the Buddhist state calling for the responsibility of the bomb in London. It wasn't JISIS. It's not the Jewish state taking credit for the attack in London. It's not KISIS. It's not the Christian state that claimed responsibility for another attack on innocent people. It is not ISIS. It's not the Hindu state claiming responsibility for the London blast. It is the Islamic state. They are gloating over the attack, and as well as the attack in France, where another brave Muslim with a hammer attacked women in the street. 
But you won't read about that because it doesn't fit the agenda of Wolf Blitzer and Jake, Jake Tapper, does it? So all I can do is tell you what reality is and give it to you, let us say, uh, not sugar-coated, in a straight manner. There's nothing else I can do. 22 were hospitalized, hair was burned off people's heads, and many of you psychos on the left are spending more time attacking Trump than saying, maybe I have it wrong. Maybe we need to do something to protect ourselves over here. Maybe we need to do something about Kim Jong fat on. Maybe it's really not Trump's fault. Maybe they listening to the show will wake up one day. I doubt it, though. So I can ask you again, how would you treat Kim Jong mentally ill on? Because we cannot let this man destroy Guam or Japan or even Hawaii or the West Coast of America, can we? What would you do to stop him? What would you do, throw flowers in the street? and beg him not to hurt you, and then blame it on Donald Trump? What would you do to stop Kim Jong mentally ill on? What would you do to stop the Muslims amongst us who are plotting to hurt us? Let me say that again in case you missed it. Write it down. We know that before Trump was elected, the FBI said that there were over 1,000, this was under Obama, 1,000 active, open investigations of, quote, terrorists that they were following in America. Terrorists meaning People who were, it wasn't a matter of whether they would attack innocent people in this country, but only a matter of when they would. Well, thus far in the Trump, none of them, thank God, have yet attacked any of us. Apparently, our DHS and FBI is more interested in stopping a terror attack than investigating conservative websites, as was done under Barack Obama. So that's working so far. Whether it worked forever is another story. But it's an insane time to live in when half, half the population of this country is so insane that they'd rather attack President Trump than Kim Jong-un or ISIS. So what would you do to stop all of this madness? How would you deal with this? So another Muslim sets off another terrorist bomb in London. Trump says we're not tough enough. The ninny who runs England says Trump is wrong, says nothing about the attacker. Here in America, you've got websites like AOL, Released Mar-a-Lago visitor log show only 22 names. British Prime Minister knocks Trump for terror attack. Protesters pour into St. Louis after ex-cop is acquitted. Not one word about Islamofascism. Not a single word about those threatening to destroy us. Instead, the little men, the little girls, the little boys who are just out of college, the brainwashed children who run these websites come out obsessed with their hatred for this country. Obsessed, moreover, with their hatred for our national identity. Obsessed with the concept of NYU as the world. Obsessed with their images that don't relate to anything in reality. And they wonder how, how in the world, I wonder how this world can go on. You look at how, so after another attack in London, here goes Prime Minister May attacking Trump instead of attacking the Islamofascist that she lets run wild in London. Listen to her in clip three about this ninny telling people what to do after another bomb on another uh, London transport. Listen to this one. The public should go about their daily lives, but remain vigilant. And people who are traveling in London will see an increased I can't take it. presence I can't take it. Could you imagine we've gone from Churchill to May in just one generation, that the great England has degenerated into a non-existent nation, that they would elect a woman like this, a woman like this who has absolutely no ability to protect their own people. They should go around their daily lives and remain vigilant. What in the world does remain vigilant mean? What does that actually mean? If you see a man from the Middle East with a bomb in his hand, don't assume he's going to set it off until it actually goes off, because we may arrest you first for racism. Is that what she means by remain vigilant? I mean, this is how crazy it's become. How it ends, I don't know. I have some feelings on how this all ends. But I think only God knows how it ends. God, faith, and reason. No wonder I wrote the book. There's nothing left but God. There's nothing left but God. There's nothing left anymore. Here's another story I put up today on michaelsavage.com. John J. Professor slammed after tweeting, he's proud to teach future dead cops. So another Muslim sets off another bomb in England, and right away the heads go in the sand and the tongues, they start to wag. And here in America, half the population is drugged and insane, spending more of their mind conspiring how to destroy Trump than to stop Kim Jong-un.
or ISIS. Welcome to the program, like really. So why are there so many attacks by Islamics in the last few days? There are plenty, you know. Oh, yeah, quite a few. You won't read it in the Daily News or the New York Post uh, right away. Uh, if you look into the ownership of some of these uh, organizations, you'll, very, you'll be very, very surprised how unlocal they are. And they want to keep you drugged and stupid, looking at sluts in Hollywood whose brassiers fall off, making sure you take your medication, and that you hate Trump. That's their three, the three main prongs of their stool of reality for you. Hate Trump, take your meds, and look at the sluts whose brassiers fall off. That's the stock and trade of uh, News Corporation and the Daily News.